Hey guys, it's Tamara, your dating and relationship coach at True Connection, here to talk with you about the Bachelor Paradise couples. As a follow-up, so my original video, I went over all the couples, what happened on the show, and then the strategies that they could use to make their long-distance relationship successful. This is a follow-up video. I'm going to tell you my predictions for all three couples and the two non-engaged couples that Stay tuned and hit subscribe to my channel for other important updates and how you can make your dating life, love life, the relationship that you want. Okay, let's start with Joe and Serena. Joe and Serena, they're gonna make it. So my answer is yes for them, which is great because we're all rooting for them, right guys? The problem is they're in separate countries, which in the land of COVID isn't that easy for them to go back and forth, but luckily the borders have been friendly to them. They're seeing each other a lot and posting a lot on social media. So they're having a ball. They're gonna move either to Toronto or Chicago or New York to start their new life together. That's in the spring. And then they're gonna take their time on the wedding and babies thing. So they're gonna grow slowly together and talk through things, go through things slowly, get to know each other's families and we are all rooting for them. Riley and Marissa, couple number two. My prediction for them is still a maybe because it really depends on Marissa. They could make it. They really could be a strong, compatible couple. So the problem is Marissa and Riley don't have a lot of relationship experience. That's uh, stumbling block number one. Stumbling block number two is Marissa's just not really ready to let her guard all the way down, I think Riley is. So if if she can just keep going and getting more and more and more open and vulnerable and talkative and sharing and being willing to share what she's afraid of, what she hopes for, what dreams she has for her marriage. I mean, they've done the Sunday morning thing for Riley. I think that's so cool that they've started that tradition already. So they're together, they're visiting each other a lot, they're spending a lot of time together and Marissa does plan to move up north with Riley, so good for them. I think it be, will be really helpful for them to be in the same city, get to know each other better, each other's friends and families, and that also has a huge determining factor. So they're madly in love, but as we know, love is not a reason to get married. Love is the start to figure out if you are a good couple for marriage. So compatibility and then shared beliefs about roles, money, children, where to live, all those sorts of things are really important and you have to talk about each one of those things in great detail, which I do in my pre-counseling sessions with clients, um, because you've really got to noodle that stuff out because any one of those things can rip you apart once you get married. Okay, so Riley and Marissa, they're still a maybe. Kenny and Mary. Kenny and Mari. Okay, I'm really excited for them. They're in love. They're spending a lot of time together and she's moving to Chicago. So I'm really excited for them to be in the same spot. Whether they live together or not, just being in Chicago is gonna make things so much easier for them. Long distance relationships, while 50% of couples that are long distance say it brings them closer together, I think it, it just has so many more challenges that you then don't have to worry about once you're in the same city. So they're really doing well so far, but Mari and Kenny both have walls up. So that's their big stumbling block distance and then just not being completely open and vulnerable and they're both really cautious. And the truth is they've both been hurt um, Mari especially, and she's bringing that into this relationship, which means she she's punishing Kenny for what other partners have done to her, which isn't fair to Kenny. So we'll see if you know he can weather that okay. He he might because if she lets her guard down and she decides to be open, then absolutely. Really, what could get them to the altar altar more quickly is counseling or therapy because if you can get those walls down, you're wide open, you really get to know each other's hearts, hopes, dreams, and plans for the future, you really can decide then. And they could really move quickly if they wanted to and if they really want to get con closely connected sooner. So Kenny and Mari, they're still a maybe. All right, now there's Becca and Thomas. We have two more couples, right, that reunited after the show. And as I said before, no, no, uh, Becca and Thomas, they're not gonna make it. And that's because 
They're just not compatible. So they're in love. Yep, they're happy. That is the first step to deciding if you want to be in a long-term relationship or engaged to someone. But being in love is not enough of a reason to get married. So you've got to have all those shared beliefs, values, compatibility. And she already told us all on the show that he doesn't have a lot of those deeper qualities and points of connection she's looking for. That's not going to develop over time. You either have it or you don't. You can work on vulnerability. You can work on healing your past. You can work on lots of things, but not that. So they're going to be happy and have a lovely relationship for a while. They're both great people, but no, they're not going to make it. Then there's Abigail and Noah. Oh my gosh. So they're adorable, right? They're in love. They're happy. They're reunited. They're traveling to see each other, spending time. And Noah said on social media that they are learning to talk to each other. And I think that's from just being in normal life, right? No cameras, no pressure. Nobody's walking into the beach and going to take your crush out on a date. So I think that really helps things a lot. But unless they get counseling or therapy, they are not going to make it. My answer is no for them because I just don't think they will. Would Noah do it? Yes. Would Abigail go to counseling or therapy? I don't see signs of that. She'd be open to that because that would open up her past. And she still wants to live in fear, keep her walls up, which then is, of course, punishing Noah. And he's going to get hurt all over again and have to let her go all over again. So, oh, I feel so bad for them because all these are people are wonderful and these couples look and seem terrific together. It's just their pasts are in the way and their current habits are in the way and that is going to sabotage them. So anyway, my predictions, I'm going to revisit this because this is after month four, which kudos to them. They've made it to the, the really trying four month mark, which is really difficult for long distance couples. The next stumbling block is eight months. If they make it to eight months, they have a much higher success rate. They've done it. They've established all these healthy habits. They're seeing each other. They're communicating. They're showing each other how they love each other, even though they're not together. And some of these couples will have, if not all, will have moved in together by then. The three engaged couples, that is. So I'll check in with you later. We'll see how they're doing and we'll see how the holidays impact them too because there's potentially a lot of connection that can be built over the holidays, but also tension, differences will come out, strain because they're in different states and how do you spend you know, the holidays when you are so far apart. That's something they're going to have to noodle through. So we will see what happens. Fingers crossed for them and I hope I hope they make it. So if you want to talk to me as a dating or relationship coach, I can help you get the love life that you want and deserve. True-connection.net. Hit subscribe and contact me. Your first meet and greet session is free. Let's see what's going on. Let's talk through it and get you guys on the right track. So it's in the little things, guys. All the little things that you do can help make your relationship great or get you on the right dating path. Talk to you soon, guys.